Hello, this is Bern, and if you've ever wasted a lot of time with a guy only to find out that he has a very different vision of the future than you do, well, stick around, because I'm going to be sharing how to stop wasting time with men on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm gonna be sharing right now how to stop wasting time with men. Listen, there's an inevitable risk that you take when you connect with someone, you become exclusive, and you figure out in the process of being with this man if you can potentially be a lifelong partner. So there's a certain level of risk that you have to take that's absolutely unavoidable. But there's other risks that you're taking that you don't necessarily have to be taking if the man that you're with doesn't have the same vision than you have for the future. And I get so many people, many women confused about how to figure out if the guy that you're with is looking for a relationship, how to find out if the man that you are interested in has a long vision of having a family, for example, or getting married. And what I have to say is that if you want to find this out, you need to be willing to ask more questions. So I'm gonna be sharing right now three simple questions that are non-threatening that you can ask at any point in the dating process. And I'm talking about from the moment you connect with him the first time till later on, if you choose to wait for some reason, to figure out where this guy is at in his process. Question number one is super simple. Where do you see yourself and then blank from now. Blank could be six months from now, a year from now, two years from now, somewhere in the near vicinity. I mean, if you say 10 years from now, that's an interesting question, but if you have a time frame within which you hope to be married or have a family, then you need to find out if the guy, even without you in the picture, is seeing that as a possibility for himself. The key about asking these questions is that you're not asking them personally about you, you're asking them about the guy and his vision for his own future. So that's question number one. Question number two, what are you looking for in a relationship? And be specific when somebody talks to you about what he's looking for in a relationship. If he gives you some vague general answer, then ask deeper questions to find out if the vision that he has for a woman, if what he's looking for in a partner is something that you feel to have within yourself or that you're willing to provide. Question number three, <laughs> super simple question, but this can be a lifesaver. Why? Because you can ask the question on date number one, or you can ask the question on date number year three, <laughs> you know, and sometimes get the exact same answer, but if you're not asking the question, you might waste three years unnecessarily. So the question is, what are your thoughts on marriage? What are your thoughts on children? What are your so <laughs> thoughts on brackets, a difficult topic, right? Figure out where this guy is at. You're not asking him, are you interested in marrying me? He has no freaking idea and neither do you. But if the guy says, well, marriage is not for me. I was married before and I don't think it works. Then if you're looking for marriage, that right now is a flag that raises up itself that prevents you from spending 25 dates with a guy who never wants to go for it. Now, can he change his mind? Potentially, but why the fuck would you waste your time with someone that you have to convince to think differently when there's other men who right at the top of the relationship, at the beginning, they say they're looking for that. Now, they may not know that they want to marry you, right, of course, but they know that that's something they're looking for in a relationship. Or they may have a clear idea if you want children, for example, whether they want children, whether they don't want children, whether they want one, two, three, all of those things, the guys are honest about their <laughs> situation when you ask you ask them a question earlier in the dating process. Why? Because they haven't invested as much time. They ha don't have that much time, energy, uh, even financial investment. So they will lose less if they come up with an answer that doesn't agree with you. But if you ask that question earlier on, you can avoid so much unnecessary pain. And I'm telling you this from working with women who sometimes forget to ask one of these questions. And it's, 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 a uh, painful thing when you find out eight months into it that the guy was never into marriage, for example, and that's something you really want, right? So thank you so much for listening to this. If you find that this is helpful, useful, and insightful, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, 
click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen, you'll see a pop-up that allows you to sign up for a webinar where I'll be sharing with you a three-step blueprint to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Very powerful stuff and absolutely free. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, I challenge you to live a full, a conscious life.